Hi guys, in this video breakdown I will show you how I created this pencil cases generator and how to randomize each case color as well as how to randomize individual pencil color. And this is a whole non graph. This is LMDs, coloring, D simulation. This is uh, to preview the backplane and this is where all the randomization happens. And this is a preparation phase and this is a post process cleaning. So to create an area where cases will be spawned onto. I have used a simple box, then I have used a split primitive by normals from, from left, and I have changed the direction to minus one to select the, only the bottom face. Then I uh, placed it on the world origin using a match size and uh, by using a just point white win. Then I have added an out to use uh, this later as the debug plane. Then I used the poly expand to D and I have unchecked uh, keep outside basically to make sure that the cases will be exactly inside the debug plane. This is not really needed, but this is something I have added. And after that, I have used a scatter node which is basically where cases, pencil cases will be spawned onto and uh, the first total count is basically the amount of cases to, to spawn and global seed is to add the seed to the cases placement and also relax iterations and show where, the, where cases will be placed and yes, yeah, that's the whole preparation part and uh, to randomize uh, each pencil case I have used uh, uh, for each point for loop for each point and under the for each begin you need to add a metadata node to access the iteration number and after that I have added a pencil case which I have shown in the previous video and I have copied two points to the input points which is which comes from this CASA node and all of the all of the randomization comes from these two null nodes and, uh, under this randomization controller I have added uh, a few parameters here uh, which I have used inside of this uh, HDA and basically uh, here I have a randomization for, for the output frame number to randomize the uh, RBD simulation per uh, each of these cases and uh, by specifying the minimum and maximum as well uh, frame number and also uh, I have a height and radius seed uh, per case and per for each individual individual pencil as well as the number of pencil seed uh, minimum and maximum amount of pencils as well as the pencils pl placement seed and as well as the height seed and same for the radius and I have also added uh, shaving and offset and element size of uh, seed and this is so to control this shaving effect on each of these pencils and the same thing goes for the coloring I have also added a case color seed and as well as a color seed for pencil and for the RGB channels also and uh, with these uh, three parameters seed minimum maximum this is a whole expression to randomize number of pencils uh, first of all I'm accessing the iteration number and then I'm adding this iteration number to pencils seed, number of pencils seed then I'm randomizing this value and then I'm fitting this value I can also use a fit one instead which is more readable for me so I'm remapping this random value from the iteration and seed and then I'm remapping it to the minimum number of pencils as well as the maximum number of pencils which in my case is uh, 4 and 10 and uh, for the placement seed, uh, this is uh, the expression and this type of expressions you can use when, where you don't need to specify minimum and maximum basically where you don't need to use a feed function so all, all you have to do is to access the iteration numbers and add a seed uh, parameter and then wrap it around the random function and uh, same goes for the height seed for the radio seed, amplitude seed, offset, element size seed uh, case length and radius I have also access the iteration number then edit the seed then wrap it around random function and then wrap it around fit function and uh, to randomize colors so all I have done is uh, again access iteration number add a seed value parameter wrapped it around random function and after that I have added a switch to enable and disable debug plane and debug plane is basically a plane uh, which is this one as I showed earlier then I reversed it and added a attribute color adjust to the vertex color to it and uh, you can use whatever color you like and then merge it with the shape and after for each loop where all of the, all of the randomization happens I have blasted case and uh, I only keep pencils to collide with the pencil shape itself because by default pencil case as well as the pencils itself was like a, a single object uh, for the RPD solver so I have to split them apart and this is what this blast node does here I specified the pencil case group in this case uh, I'm using the pod generator so I'm using it in the, in, not only uh, for the pencil cases but for the plans and this is why I have this group and uh, so basically what this blast node does is that it deletes pencil cases and uh, in this node and this is exactly the same node but uh, the difference here is that I'm checking this delete and selected so I only keep this uh, pencil cases and uh, this goes into the collision geometry and pencil pencils goes into the geometry to collide with these cases 
and this is the simulation and under the collision make sure you set the collision shape to, to concave and collision type to, to static because uh, in this case pencil case is a static object it's not animated or something like that uh, and after that i'm using a time shift node which is basically a output frame number because inside of unreal engine or unity you can have an option to this timeline and this is how you can output a certain frame number and this uh, output frame number i'm uh, randomizing it here like so and then i have added a switch to enable disable sim then i'm grouping pencils then removing all of the attributes uh, from the rpd simulation then i'm merging pencil cases with pencils itself then debug plane as i showed you previously then i'm cleaning everything together and uh, i'm removing all of the attributes except color uh, data uvs if you want to add them and then real material which in this case i don't have something i might add in the future so i have already added here and also i'm remo removing all of the group except uh, this group which is group pencils group but in this case pot is a pencil case then i have added another switch to enable or disable all of this and to create all of this you need to create a group and uh, type group name like so LOD0 will be the highest LOD and uh, in my case LOD5 will be the lowest LOD and this is how it looks like uh, in my case this is something I'm still playing around uh, it could be a lot better for the lowest LOD I have added a poly reduce I lowered its uh, poly count and I have created a group LOD5 and under the group name I have specified $S which will get a node name this node name so if I type something like this, the node name will be LOD5, blah, blah, blah. But uh, so this uh, expression uh, takes the node name and assign it here. And to create a LOD screen size, you can use a, a attribute create node. Uh, under the name, you have to specify load, then load number, then screen size. So in this case, I have added screen size to the LOD5 and uh, the value is 0.1 in, in this case. And make sure that the class is set to detail, otherwise it won't work. To get a better understanding, have a look at the Houdini engine documentation for Unreal Engine, especially for attributes, groups, and stuff like that. Then I'm merging everything together, then I'm creating normals for pencils, and other normals for pencil case, and then I'm removing all of the groups to clean up. And this is pretty much uh, how I created this pencil case from input area. So hope you found that useful. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, drop a comment in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Have a lot of joy. Take care. Bye.